Hey everybody, I'm Sean. And I'm Kieran. Welcome to another episode of Angling Spiders. Welcome back everybody. On today's episode, we are out at the Bow River and we are actually participating in a collaboration between a number of other YouTube channels. Don't have a lot of time to fish. We just needed to get out and see if we could get onto something. So what do you think? Should we get out there? Yeah, let's go get some. All right, let's do it. All right, you guys. <laughs> of course, the things we won't all do to get to a fishing spot. Um, beautiful country out here. And uh, it is a much nicer day today. We uh, once again found out about this spot that we're going to from the nature fellas. So thanks, Brandon, for the tip. But uh, because it's been melting, not easy to get to, so we gotta do a little off-roading, which we're more than happy to do if you can get us to some fish. Sometimes you get lucky. You get a little earthen dam like this, because without it, we would not be getting across here. Uh, so this is good. Uh, Aaron and I are out here tossing some crankbaits and some swim baits, seeing if we can pick up either some trout or some pike. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give it a shot and uh, hopefully we get something. I got one. Definitely got one. You want to grab the net? Oh, it's a nice pike. Oh. <laughs> no. Get him in the net. I'm trying. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, the net's bending. Oh, we got one, buddy. That fish is 10.3 pounds. All right, Beard Zero. <laughs> Came out here seeing if we could get a fish for you. Just bought this tank in. Uh, this pike is just over 10 pounds. Uh, my biggest of the year and the biggest one I've ever caught on angling spiders. Not my PV, but uh, beautiful fish, so. We're gonna get this one back in the water and get it released. Woo! Glad we could get something. All right, you guys. I'm gonna do the release on this big girl. Whoa, 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 whoa. One, one last look. One last look. Look at that beautiful fish. Oh my goodness. All right, let's do this. Let's let this big girl go. Gone, woo hoo hoo! That feels good. All right, so hopefully you can see here on the edge of the Bow River, relatively clear uh, with a relatively deep pool here right in front of us and, and some calm spots right on the edge of this rill. So this is what we're fishing along is uh, this calmer area with the more rapidly flowing water off to the side, hoping that some fish are holding in this back eddy here, which is where I picked up that pike. Um, just so you guys, uh, if you're interested, I caught that pike on this uh, CST crankbait that I talked about last time, this whitefish pattern. It did actually break the front treble, busted one of the tines off that front treble. So uh, it's still working. I got the back treble on there, but I can take this front treble off or replace it. Um, so that's what I was tossing and uh, worked pretty effectively. Caught that one on my pen, Wrath, rod and reel combo. One thing I'll mention in the previous video where I was talking about this crankbait, um, had a number of people mention that it's a jerkbait. And that got me thinking because I don't usually use jerkbaits. 
Um, in fact, I don't know that I have one. I might have one in my tackle box, but most of the things that I have, I refer to as crankbaits. But uh, that's just what I was taught to call them growing up. So I looked it up online to find out what is the difference between a crankbait and a jerkbait. Basically, what I could find on the internet is that a jerkbait is typically longer and thinner. Uh, a crankbait is going to be wider and shorter. Um, they both have the, the bills on the front. Um, but one thing that is pretty common on a couple of websites on the internet is that jerkbaits usually have three trebles. No idea. I don't know what, now what I would call these things, whether they're jerkbaits or crankbaits. I'm going to continue to call them crankbait. Um, Anyways, glad it worked, and uh, again, thanks to CST Lures for a great product. All right, you guys, this is really cool. Kieran just caught a burbot. Yo! This is the first burbot he's ever caught in his life. Okay. <laughs> I was not expecting that. No! 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 You got it? <laughs> we got it. It got off the hook. <laughs> That is awesome, man! You got a bourbon! Oh my god, he's slimy. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I didn't even know. In the Bow River! <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> this is not the kind of day that I thought we were going to have. That's so cool. Let's uh, show the camera one more time, buddy. Beauty! Look at that little barbel on the front there. All right, everybody, that is really cool. Kieran just picked up a brand new species, which we were definitely not expecting here on the Bow River. <laughs> and it's a nice size burbot too, so awesome. All right, we are gonna do an underwater release on this bad boy. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for today. We uh, only had a couple hours to go fishing today because it is Easter Sunday and we need to get back to spend some time with the family, but uh, it was a good opportunity to get out. Uh, it's also getting pretty windy and it's cold out here. It's only about four degrees. And so, uh, you know, I'm not going to complain. Pretty good day on the water. Sure. I got my uh, really nice pike over 10 pounds. Never gonna complain about that. How about you? Yeah, and I got my first ever burbot, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, great day out here. Absolutely, always great when you get a new species. Uh, so there you go. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Appreciate you guys tagging along. Yeah, and remember guys, if you like the video, smash that like button, hit subscribe. Until next time, good fishing. Yeah. Starting like here? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, we good? Yeah. Okay.